Now to try and um, show how I've wired this thing up, uh, I'm going to take some photographs, some pictures here, some video uh, showing where the various pieces go uh, and I'll also try drawing something up. But you can see that basically what we've got is a set of control lines that are going over here to the switches okay so we have a common line joining all of the switches and providing them to ground you can see that black wire is going to to, uh, to the common bar across and that is a ground line and the other lines go to the switches so you've got the uh, various colored wires going to the various switches uh, these are the um, fast left fast right uh, slow left slow right and the stop button in the middle okay and then this is the rotary switch this is um, this is a um, Adafruit uh, rotary switch and as you can see that is also wired up and that goes into this multi-core here it's just something I happen to have lying around uh, the other connections are for the display so here you can see um, the display connector and that goes um, if you've got the same one that goes from the bottom up uh, ground and VCC and there's the uh, SDA and SCL that's the data and clock and they go along this cable here and they connect to the Arduino okay so you can see uh, we have the power uh, and the ground and then the data and the clock okay so the other ones here <coughs> sorry the blue ones here then they go to um, the ports on the Arduino so those are the ones for the switch these other ones here are the control lines for the stepper motors well in fact they go to the um, stepper driver and there is one line that comes back in which is from the limit switch okay so that's basically how this wired up is wired up uh, I've been a bit lazy I was going to tidy this all up but um, unfortunately it works <laughs> and the problem is if it works well, I tend to leave it alone but as you can see we've got these wires here going into here and then this comes down here and it goes to this abortion here all right so there are basically three wires that go in okay so you've got the power at the bottom okay so this is the power into this thing and that comes from here from these various power units okay this one here is the power that goes to the Arduino okay so that's a little five volt supply uh, I think it's no actually I think it's a six volt supply to supply the voltage for the Arduino I could have taken it from here but this is um, if memory serves it's about 24 volts or 48 volts I can't remember which now um, it's it's in the um, the description for the first video but it would have meant dropping far too much voltage to get it down to five volts and so I just bought and these from Banggood that was about four quid I think that's including delivery so ridiculous so much easier okay so we've got here we've got the outputs from the Arduino and if you look at the at the the top of the um, the Arduino code you'll see that um, I set which of the ports on the Arduino are what so this has got uh, a pulse, um, a direction and an enable. Okay, all of the negatives are coupled together. Okay, and they go to the DC uh, negative here. Um, the pulse, um, enable and direction, those go up to the Arduino. So those are the, that's the other end of that cable. Okay, this hanging piece here is the limit switch. Uh, the previous version of the code um, you had to hold the button down because I hadn't got a limit switch in place the new version of the code um, you press the direction button and it will carry on traveling until you press the stop button or until you hit the limit switch 
and the limit switch is just a simple read relay okay and the read relay gets activated when one of these magnets travels across to the read relay so it's a single relay read relay and there's a magnet at both ends okay so when it travels this direction this magnet will tell me when they'll reach the limit and I can move these these are bolted in so I can set a stop wherever I want just by moving these little magnets along uh, to the limit switch okay so I'm hoping this is all making sense but if you look at this I'll do a little drawing as well and then um, look at the code you'll see it's really quite straightforward okay so the output of the driver um, there are four what outputs okay and if you look you'll see it's um, a plus and a minus and B plus and B minus okay this goes to the stepper motor which is in here okay and the A's a plus and minus go to one set of windings and the B's B plus and minus go to the other set of windings you can't really get it wrong well you can get it wrong but you can't do any damage because if you get them um, wrong what the worst that will happen is nothing will happen which means you've got the A's and B's mixed up so you're going to uh, one of these is an A and there's a B so you've got no continuity that it won't work uh, the other thing that will happen is it will work it will go if you get the A and the B swapped over uh, it'll go in the opposite direction so all you have to do is swap them back again easy to see as soon as you if you tr try to traverse it right and it goes left just swap any one of these any one of these pairs will fix that problem okay so once again control box okay cable goes down to the stepper driver from the stepper driver to the stepper motor okay power in power for the stepper motors that's the stepper motor power and power for the Arduino it's a separate power and that's it basically so fairly straightforward I will I'll make a drawing and I'll stick that up as well so hopefully it should be quite simple to follow along um, it was relatively straightforward I had a few boo-boos in the code uh, so definitely it's worth downloading the latest version of the code uh, a because it has now got the um, the ability to just press the button it will traverse until you press the stop um, and uh, it's also fixed some of the code where it, it would occasionally it would just stop randomly um, and that's been fixed as well uh, I am going to do some work on it at some point when I get the time uh, just to make it a little bit more sensible what these what this switch does in at the moment it it doesn't go in even numbers it's it goes up or down but it's very strange how it does it uh, just in case it wasn't really clear about uh, how the um, limit switches worked um, let me show you what happens um, I have the read relay here it's in a normally closed position um, and the magnet opens it it's a little it's a basically it's a two-way switch um, I went for a read relays because they're I've got loads a I've got loads of them and B they're incredibly reliable so what happens here is we start it traversing uh, as the magnet here approaches the read relay we get to a point where oh I should have turned that round there we go okay so I probably didn't see that let's take it back again um, one slight thing is you have to rewind it by hand for the time being I'm going to sort the code out for that um, you got to rewind it to the point where it is no longer the magnet is no longer influencing it so we set this going as the magnet gets closer to the re -re -re relay there you go it stops okay now you can adjust that does that uh, clarify it I hope so okay anyway um, that's it hope you um, you get some value benefit out of it and uh, if not just put a comment in this thing and I'll try and address it okay bye bye